Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi arrived in Damascus International Airport. He met with Syrian President Bashar al-Assad, who said Syria looks forward to increasing cooperation with China in various domains, praising what he described as China's ethical policies. Assad thanked China for its stances in support of Syria's sovereignty, unity and independence. Yi expressed his country's interest in Syria's participation in China's Belt and Road Initiative, which is a global infrastructure development strategy adopted by China to invest in nearly 70 countries and international organizations. He asserted that China will continue supporting the Syrian people in the fight on terror, challenging economic sanctions and standing against foreign intervention. The visit comes in the framework of ongoing Chinese support to Syria, as well as boosting cooperation in all sectors, especially now that the government controls most of the country. China played a positive role during the war on Syria in support of the legitimate government and the country's independence and stability. An hour-long meeting was also held between the Chinese foreign minister and his Syrian counterpart Faisal al-Maqdad, discussing political and economic topics of mutual interest. They agreed to take bilateral cooperation between their countries to a new level for the benefit of both countries' peoples. The Chinese foreign minister visits Syria amid economic difficulties Syrians are facing due to the sanctions imposed by the U.S. and its allies. The visit is a message from China to the U.S. and the EU that their siege and pressure on Syrians will be broken by China, which is a strong economic power for sure. During the Chinese officials' visit, Syria and China signed two agreements in the economic and medical assistance sectors. China is one of Syria's staunch allies, which vetoed nearly a dozen new and draft resolutions on foreign intervention in Syria since the war started in 2011. The timing of the Chinese foreign minister's visit to Syria is very important for both the Syrian people and the government in light of the harsh economic situation they are living inside the country. China is conveying a message of support, especially in the economic sector, for Syrians. Muhammad Ali, Press TV, Damascus.